The number one reason why you cannot get a flat stomach is because of your diet. I'd rather keep it real with ya. It is not because you don't drink flat tummy tea. It's not because you know you don't drink enough apple cider vinegar in the morning it's not because you don't work out and it's not because of the fact that you're not in a calorie deficit the reason why you struggle with having a flat stomach while losing weight is your diet the foods that you are eating are inflammatory and you need to change that in order to have a flat stomach a lot of people ask me this question, how do I lose stubborn belly fat while also losing weight? And this is honestly a common struggle. I used to struggle with this when I was losing weight. I would notice that I was losing weight all over, but my stomach was still big and it was still bloated. And then I realized it has to do with the foods that I'm eating. Majority of the foods that we are eating are inflammatory, causing us to bloat, and causing indigestion, which is making our stomach appear bigger than what it is. Because we all have abs, okay? We all have abs. We do not need to go to the gym to get abs, okay? Abs are already there. But the reason why we cannot see them is because it is covered with fat. So if you're eating heavy gluten, breads, pasta, processed foods, processed meats, processed dairy, that is going to cause inflammation in our body and it's going to mess with our digestion a majority of those foods cause sensitivity so in order to avoid those we need to make the changes so if you need an alternative for pasta because pasta is very 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 bloating and if you're eating that all the time it can cause stubborn belly fat which is going to be hard. It is gonna be really hard to lose that extra weight because the food and the information is gonna be stuck in the gut. So my favorite alternative for these foods are, I love to do kelp noodle pasta. It is non-inflammatory, number one, and it does not have gluten. So if you're gluten sensitive and you are sensitive to gluten, this is gonna be amazing for you because one full box of kelp noodles is only 15 calories so i use this brand right here and i make all of my pastas with kelp noodles you can also do chickpea noodles lentil noodles which is high in protein which is going to keep you full longer so you don't have to eat so much but you'll still be full because of that protein in there we do not need to eat every single hour, especially if you want to lose weight. You need to be okay and you need to be disciplined enough to not be eating every hour. Number one, it is not necessary. And number two, it does more harm than good, especially when you want to lose the stubborn belly fat. You need to be eating less frequently so your body has enough time to break down your food. Majority of the times when our stomach is rumbling, you know when you hear that rumbling sensation in your stomach, that does not always mean that you are hungry. Sometimes when you hear that in your stomach, that is your food digesting. So give your body enough time to digest your food. And I promise you that will help you with not only losing weight, but losing the stubborn belly fat and help with bloating. Now for flour, because I know you guys are like, okay, what bread are we gonna eat? We need to eat our bread. Like we can't just eat veggies. We can't just eat nothing. We need to eat something. So my favorite alternative for flour and bread is number one, I love to use teff flour. Teff flour is naturally gluten-free and it's native to um, Africa. So it is a perfect bread and you can use it to make injera. But not only that, you can make pancakes with it. It's my favorite flour and you can also make baked goods. My second favorite flour alternative is coconut flour. This is mainly just for making like pancakes and like sweets and stuff. This is my favorite flour to do it because coconut flour, not only is it very sweet, it's amazing when you're making like cookies or a cake or something. And it's still tasty. It doesn't taste bitter. It's not nasty, guys, because healthy does not need to be nasty. So I love to do coconut flour. White bread, don't get me started with white bread. 
it is the worst form of bread okay guys it has no nutrients in it and you're not getting that much calories so when you're eating white bread not only are you not getting energy from it but it's just no nutrients so i love to switch it for rye bread okay rye bread is my favorite favorite bread it's packed with nutrients it's amazing it's non-inflammatory and then another thing too guys is that white rice we need to get rid of the white rice i know white rice is amazing with anything but my favorite alternative is number one if you still want to do white rice try basmati rice i think that rice is a good alternative if you want to still have that white rice aesthetic because i know when you want to make you know your foods we just need that whole like aesthetic for the white rice so my favorite alternative is basmati rice but if you're just looking for a full-on grain alternative do quinoa number one quinoa is packed with so much nutrients a lot more nutrients than any other grain i love quinoa because number one guys non-inflammatory it won't be stuck in your gut it's easy to break down and also it's very tasty if you season it well it's very tasty and it helps with weight loss it's not too high in calories but it's also very high in protein so you will be full off quinoa and you don't have to overdo it all of these alternatives are amazing for weight loss because you don't have to fill up your plate that much to be full you're able to be in a calorie deficit and you're able to get your nutrients, get full, and not feel like you have to eat again and again and again. So this is perfect when you're losing weight on a calorie deficit. And then also I mentioned to not do processed dairy or meats. And my thing with processed dairy and meats is that it's very hard to find quality dairy and meats. And plus it gets very, very expensive, especially if you're in North America. It can get pretty pricey so my suggestion is if you don't want to give up meats and dairy i would say limit your consumption um if you can try only eating it twice a week but i would say start off slow so if you eat it every single day try only doing four times a week and then you lower it to three times a week and you do two times a week and then you do once a week and then later on you can do none at all but, but yeah i recommend getting rid of it completely because it will completely change the game for you i'm talking about more energy your skin will clear you'll have more energy and you'll just feel more alive you'll start looking better you'll start looking youthful it is just an amazing journey and yeah guys that is all the tips i have for you on getting a flat stomach you do not need to hit the gym you do not need any flat tummy tea or apple cider vinegar or anything all you need to do is change your diet and implement healthy living into your lifestyle bye